Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a haul for you. I had some requests from a previous video if I could show what I picked up from Beautylish. I've been shopping there a couple times so it is cumulative and I also threw in some other places just to make it longer. So this could potentially be kind of a long haul but I know you guys like my longer videos especially hauls. So this is Beautylish. It also has some Sephora items. And then I also threw in a Namie's order, which is a makeup artist store in LA. You can also order online. You can also get a pro discount there. So I did get, I believe it's 20 to 40% off depending on the brand. So I picked up some items there, which I'm really excited to share with you. A lot of the items you can also get at Sephora and other places. So you don't necessarily have to go through Namie's but they do have a bunch of indie brands, which I like picking up all in the same spot so I don't have to pay multiple different shipping fees from various sites. So that's why I like to shop on Namie. So if you want to see everything I picked up from those three places, then just keep watching. I filmed this makeup look before doing this haul video and I actually really like how it turned out. I was just playing around and I did a half cut crease with some color. You know, it's so different for me because you never see me do color. So I just, I kind of like it because it's different. I also picked up something from Shoppers. They had a Spend Your Points event, which I've been waiting for because I wanted to pick up a perfume. So the perfume I got was free because I used my points. And I also picked up this just to make it enough money to use my points and get the discount. This is a BKR water bottle, which I love. I collect water bottles. I don't know why. I just like having something nice to drink of during the day. And it helps me drink more water. I think the style of this one is tutu. And I love things that are girly, but also edgy. So I picked that up. And I've also been eyeing this perfume. As I said, I spent my points on this from Shoppers. This is the YSL Mon Paris. And this is very fruity. It also has some floral in it and a little bit of patchouli. So when I first smelled this, I actually didn't care for it just by smelling it on its own. And then I put it on my body and walked around. This was one of those fragrances I did have to wear to actually fall in love with. And on my body, this smells so amazing because it just works really well with my body chemistry. And the first time I actually put this on and I was walking around, I had numerous compliments on it, which I've never actually had so many compliments on a perfume on my body before. And it's this one, it's very, fresh and fruity but also has a bit of floral at first as I said when I initially sprayed it it was a little too sweet for me but on my body it really just complemented my own pheromones well and it just smells really good once it's set down so I'm really happy with this purchase and it's the YSL Mon Peri. I just wanted to give that a little mention that I picked up from shoppers been waiting to use my points so I got this baby for free I'm going to do Sephora first I don't have too many items to share from Sephora, I do have a really fun video coming up soon with another beauty vlogger. We're doing a Sephora swap, which is going to be so much fun. I can't wait for you guys to see that. We're organizing it right now. So that's going to be a huge <laughs> Sephora haul and swap. You guys can guess what beauty vlogger it's gonna be down below, but it's going to be so much fun. So I just have a couple items to share that have been kicking around. I have the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 02. I ended up purchasing this because Sephora had a 10% coupon, which I shared with you guys on Snap. I know a bunch of you used it. And I really wanted to pick this up, but Dior obviously is quite pricey. So I wanted to wait for some kind of discount and Ebates happened to be, I think double cash back that day, 8%. Ended up being a good time to purchase. So this is number two. It is the more pink tone one. Number one is one of my favorite highlights of all time. It's that baked gelée type formula, which is really beautiful on the skin. I find this type of highlighter doesn't emphasize any kind of texture, and it just gives a really pretty beautiful pink glow. It looks really nice with my natural skin tone, which I have right now. And I just really love the formula and color of it. So definitely highly recommend this one and O1 if you don't have that one. Both are so so pretty this one's actually quite similar in tone to the makeup forever highlighter the pink one if you like that one this one has a little bit more of a i'd say a purpley tone to it but it is quite similar to that makeup forever then i picked up my first tom ford purchase and it's taking me a while to purchase this because it is quite pricey it is the tom ford blush nude lipstick it is iconic i've heard so much about it and I knew I needed to eventually try it 
though it is so so pricey it hurt to buy this is what the packaging looks like it's very luxurious i've used it once on my lips and i have to say the formula is really really nice do i think it's worth the money absolutely not i don't think any lipstick is worth that price in my honest opinion However, if you love makeup and you like luxury items, it's definitely one to check out. So that's why I wanted to pick it up, just because I feel like it's a rite of passage. I have to try Tom Ford at some point in my life, and the shade Blush Nude is so beautiful. So I plan on probably using this in a tutorial. As I said, the color is so beautiful, and I'm thinking of doing a luxury makeup dupe video, which I'll definitely include that lipstick in. Then I also picked up one of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides in the shade Stripped. I've been wanting this forever. I missed out when they first restocked it and then I had to wait for the second restock and this is what it looks like. It's just a beautiful nude gloss. It doesn't have that NARS smell that they used to have. They reformulated the smell. Thank goodness. <laughs> and then I also picked up a really beautiful lipstick shade. From Bobbi Brown. It's their Lux Lip Color in Pink Nude and I fell in love with this. At first I saw a swatch online and I had to have it. I've never tried a Bobbi Brown lipstick either. This is the color. It's so pretty on the lips. This is one of those colors. It's very pigmented too. It makes your lips look amazing. I can't stress that enough. When I'm my own natural skin tone like I am now or when I have a tan, it's just the most beautiful pink shade. The formula is fantastic. I don't find this wear is overly long. However, I'm okay with that because it is so pretty and the formula feels so nice on the lips and it makes your lips look amazing. So really glad I picked up that one. Then I also picked up a backup of one of my favorite sets of lashes. These are the Tarte Tardis Pro lashes. And this is in the style Goddess. And I love these lashes. I love these lashes just to pop on my eyes when I'm wearing no makeup. These just look really flattering on my eye shape. And it's just an easy way to do an eye makeup look and you look put together with just these lashes and you don't have to do anything else. So I like it for a quick makeup days, just popping those on. And then from Beautylish, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. And I heard this was really nice to set the face. It didn't look cakey. Even if you kept applying layers, it, this just doesn't look cakey on your skin. So I've been testing it out. I've worn it, I think, three times now. And I can say it's a beautiful finish on the skin. I definitely like it. Very fine. And it definitely gives you an airbrush look. So I'm actually wearing that on my face lightly today just to set my T-zone. And I do really, really enjoy this. So definitely a good purchase from Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of my favorite lines of makeup. They are quite pricey. You can pick it up at Beautylish, but definitely worth it. I've never tried anything from Charlotte Tilbury that I don't like. I love everything I've tried. Then I've also been hearing a lot about the RCMA foundation. So I wanted to find my color before I decided to splurge on a full size. So I picked up the Series Favorites palette in Olive. I hear this is a really great foundation if you have more olive undertones which I do tend to have in the summer months, so that's why I picked it up. I have been using it a little bit already. Most of the time I'm that middle shade, so what one is that? Olive 3. So I'll probably end up picking up a full size in that one because I do really like it. This little palette though, it doesn't come with too much product, so it's great to try it out. However, I'm going to go through this so fast. It looks beautiful on the skin. I can definitely see why so many people and makeup artists love this stuff and it was nice to find a good olive undertone foundation. So been really enjoying this. Glad I picked this up. And then I've also been loving the Cover FX Clear Cover Invisible Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 product. This works as your SPF obviously, but the consistency of this is quite different than anything I really have. It works really well as a primer because of the consistency is so smooth and if you need some extra SPF, say your morning moisturizer doesn't have one and you need to add some SPF before you start your day, this I definitely recommend, especially if you're a makeup wearer, just because this sits really beautifully underneath your makeup. Some SPF products I don't find sit that well underneath makeup, this one does. So definitely recommend this if you're looking for an SPF. Then Jouer recently launched on Beautylish and from their website I've heard that the shipping is quite pricey to Canada so I was excited to see it on Beautylish because I've never tried the brand and wanted to pick up a few of their more popular products I guess you could call them. 
So the first thing I picked up is the powder highlighter in Citrine. I heard this was so beautiful and I am wearing it on my cheeks today. It gives you that beautiful gold glow. I hear these shatter quite easily so you have to be quite careful with the formulation. However, that's what it looks like. I am wearing it on my cheeks today and it just gives you that beautiful wet look to your skin which I personally love. So definitely recommend this. I can see why it's so popular because it is such a beautiful formula and beautiful color. And then I also wanted to try out their Essential Lip Enhancer. It says if you wear this three times a day for about a month that you should see a difference in the lines and everything in your lips. Help plump them up a bit. So I'm going to test that out and see. And I have to keep this in my purse so I know to use it three times a day. This is what the tube looks like. It's basically just a lip balm though. So I have to try this out some more and obviously get back to you guys. But I'll let you know. I love initially putting this on and how it feels on the lips. I do feel like it does have kind of a plumping kind of <laughs> just a little bit nothing insane but I have been enjoying it when I do use it and then I wanted to try two of their lip toppers I picked up frostbite and skinny dip skinny dip I've heard so much about and these are basically like highlighters for your lips maybe I'll put a little bit of skinny dip on my lip right now I have gloss on already but this definitely does add that highlighted shine to your lips. I think these look really nice over top of liquid lipstick, not necessarily a gloss like I have on right now because my lips are already quite shiny. <laughs> I can see why so many people like this. I'll swatch Skinny Dip and Frostbite next to each other. These are infused with coconut oil, so they feel really fantastic on the lips. If you can see that, so gorgeous. So if you love that highlighted look, <laughs> definitely pick up these. They're unlike anything I personally have in my collection, so that's why I wanted to pick them up and test them out. They definitely live up to the hype, like everyone has said. That's everything from Beautylish. Now I'm going to move on to Namie's, which is always fun. Some of the brands at Namie's, if you don't have a pro card, they won't carry. I'm not sure offhand because the website obviously shows me what I can pick out. I get my Anastasia Beverly Hills there only because if I order from the ABH website, the shipping and the duties is it kills you in Canada. Just saying. <laughs> so if there's anything unique to their site, I don't order from them just because it it's like triple the price <laughs> in Canada. The first thing I picked out is the Brow Wiz. And I like picking these up from Namie's because I do get the discount. And I just picked up the shade Ebony. I felt like using this again because I haven't used a Brow Wiz in forever, it feels like, because I've been trying other things. And Ebony I actually haven't tried before. And I really like the tone of it. I believe I used this in an upcoming tutorial. I tried to use a bunch of these new products in a tutorial. So you'll see that soon, but I'm sure you've all seen Brow Wiz before. And then I also picked up the Lip Gloss in Undressed. I've seen a few people use this. It's a nude lip gloss and I didn't have it and I really, really wanted it. I've wanted this forever and I have never bothered to pick it up. The ABH glosses are quite thick in their formulation, very opaque. And it's just a beautiful nude if you're looking for a nude gloss. This I'd wear just on its own and with minimal makeup, I like that look. So I'll pop on those goddess lashes with this undress gloss and I'm good to go. <laughs> I love that look. And then Kat Von D became recently available on Namie's, which is awesome because I think it was 40% off. So you get a really good discount on Namie's if you have your pro card. I've been wanting this Metal Crush eyeshadow in Thunderstruck forever. For whatever reason on Sephora Canada, they would just never restock it. And I'm pretty sure you could still get this in store, but I was excited to get my hands on this. It's similar to, if you've been following me for years, since blogger days, this is similar to the limited edition MAC eyeshadow in Solar White, if you know what that looks like. That used to be my favorite shadow of all time. Also a good comparison is MAC Nylon, if you like how that looks. You can use these wet or dry. So depending on how you look at this, it gives a whitish gold sheen. And this would actually make a really fantastic highlighter as well. It has a good formula for that too, so you can use it as a highlighter or obviously as an eyeshadow as it was intended for. And how beautiful is that? So I've been dying to get my hands on this because that MAC eyeshadow was limited edition. So Solar White, very comparable to if you know what that is, if you're a long time MAC fan, or if you've been following me for years. You probably heard me mention that many, many years ago. Then I also picked up this Shade and Light Eye Contour Brush. 
and it comes in a little case. I heard Beauty by Rosita, her talk about this as a fantastic brush to smoke out the lower lash line. This is the case it comes in. It looks like a little coffin. Kat Von D always has really interesting packaging. So I want to pick this up for my lower lash line. It has a pencil end and then a bigger fluffier end, which you could really buff out that eyeshadow. So I would lay down the color with a smaller end and then buff out with the bigger. It just looks like a really handy brush to have, especially for the lower lash line, if you're having trouble smoking it out. So that's why I picked it up due to her recommendation. So really happy to have this. I've used it once and already love it. So definitely a good recommendation from her. Then if you watched my hair care video, you would realize that I was almost out of my shampoo and Naomi's also carries way. Sephora has way too, so you can pick it up there. However, I wanted the discount, so I picked up my volume shampoo. So happy to have this back in my life because I ran out of it, went through the whole thing. And I wanted to mention something about this shampoo. When I first started using it, I didn't like it. It took me several uses to fall in love with it, but it's my favorite shampoo right now. So obviously I'd like it because I repurchased it. And then I picked up two of the Gleam Body Radiances by Melanie Mills. And this is the rose gold one. And these are just one fluid ounces. I wanted to try them out. I have seen people use these on their body or on their face. This one is Sandra Deluxe's. Peach Deluxe is probably actually my favorite color. I'm just excited to play around with these some more. I'll probably personally use these on my body as opposed to my face, but I will definitely try it out on my face too. And then I also picked up two Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. And this is one of my favorite formulas of liquid lipstick. I love picking up my Dose of Colors from Namie's, obviously for the discount. Plus I don't have to bother with all these different websites because everything's there. And I picked up the new Supernatural and then I also picked up Sand, which has been out for a little bit, which is like the perfect nude in my opinion. I'm wearing it today underneath my lip gloss combo I have going on. And I'll swatch both of these side by side so you can see the difference. Just because they are kind of similar, Supernatural is a bit warmer and darker. Sand is literally my definition of a perfect nude. See those two colors there? So pretty, right? And the Dose formula is absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried it, as I said, it's one of my favorite formulas in a liquid lipstick. And then the last thing I picked up is the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. I heard this is really good if you have sunken in under eyes or have some correcting and you need to add some brightness to your under eye area like I do because if you I look down, you can see those hollows in my eyes. So this should help in brightening up that under eye area. And I've been trying to get my hands on this for a bit. So that's the Pretty Pink Powder. I have a three ounce size in this. And the Ben Nye powders are actually quite affordable in my opinion. So I picked that up to try. That is everything I picked up for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what products intrigued you most in the comment section below. And also what has been on your wish list or product recommendations because you guys always give me the best ones. So definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video.